Welcome back to an RPG Maker Unite tutorial. Today we're going to create a character. I'm also going to show you how to use my converter to bring in previous RPG Maker sprites. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so real quick, let's find all the areas that we're going to need to create a new character. So the first one is pretty obvious. It's in characters and then it's under actor. So actor is going to be all your main characters that you have in your party and stuff like this. So we have a bunch of already created characters for us. And over here, when you click on one, you can see that this is where you're going to set the name, the class, you're going to set a bunch of these kind of things. But down here is the really the important part is where you're going to be setting the image data. All right, so you have the face icon, you have the field character, this is going to be your side view battler. All right, so if you select an image file, you can see that they have, by default, all these different faces to choose from. By default, they have all these different field characters to choose from. And then the same with side view battlers, they have a bunch of different ones. And then the same with the picture. But how do you get your own on here? How do you import your own and make your own character? That's what we're going to get at. But one more thing we need to understand is where is this side view battler stuff getting set up and the field character getting set up. And so those are going to be down in the resource manager, right? So you can see that there's a character section in resources. And you can see that there's a field character. So here's where the field characters are getting set up. And then also, if you go back up here, you have for side view battlers, you also have one for actor, and these are where your side view battlers are set up. So alongside with setting up your, your face icon here and your bust here, you will also have to set up your field and side view battler characters down in the resource manager. All right, so let's get started doing that. So first, let's come up here. Now we could edit this one already, but let's just create a brand new one. So let's create a new actor, all right? And we're gonna click on it, come up here, and we're just gonna call this new actor, just to make it simple, all right? And you can see that it comes with some preset defaults, so we need to change that. But the other thing we wanna do is change our party settings. This is where you're going to change who the main set up character is when you start. So the, the new actor is what I want to be the starting character of the game, all right? So now we're gonna go back to this new actor and we want to give it some new icons right here. Well, the first method I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my converter and we're gonna bring in an old RPG Maker character. And the only difference is that we're actually not gonna have a bust for this one because there was no busts on the old characters, but there was faces. So let's get started with the face first. I'm gonna to go to my character slicer right here. I'm going to first off select that it's a face set. And then we're just going to get a face right here, open it up. And I'll just use Harold, why not? And we'll export this right here. Now in our converted folders, we now have them separated. And that's the main thing is that we need them separated. So now I'm going to import. And I'm going to import this face right here. And there we go, we have Harold. All right, so now the filled and the side view battle character we need to set up in the resources. So I'm going to scroll down here. And let's start with the, the field character right here. Bring down the field character. And we want to add a new one. So we'll say new field character. All right? And this is going to be new actor field. And this is where we're going to implement the facing down, left, right, up, and damage. Right? So I'm going to bring up the converter here. I'm going to select the eight characters right here and select a field right here. So here's Harold right here. And then we're going to export it. And it automatically saved the folder there. So then when I go back to this folder, you can see that now, along with the faces, I also have my characters. And it separates them exactly how they need to be. So they, it separates them in different directions. And then it also adds the idle animation to the front of those because you actually, they're strips now, so they run like this. And so you want the first one to be an idle because when you stop walking, it's going to show this first frame. So that's how these is, this is set up now. Now we can come to here and come to the facing down and import character facing down. Now, whenever you import it, you need to also specify the number of frames. So it's four. And then I'm just going to specify the animation speed to be 40. So the greater, there we go. And that actually might be a little too slow. So let's just go to 20. So if the preview is bugging out on how the animation works, it actually does look good in the gameplay. So it just might be an animation. So now we're going to set the left right here. 
So we'll import this one, and so we'll be walking left. And so once again, four and 20. Then we're going to import the right. Four and 20. And we'll import the facing up. Four again and 20. So for the fill damage, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to select the sprite sheet that has the fill damages on them. And usually they're just like all four the same kind of a thing. Just slice it as an eight character or a one character. The one character is for if it's just a single sprite. But when you have the eight character sprite sheets, you'll select this one. You'll export that. And it might be named weird because it's going to be named down, left, right, and stuff like this. But just you would import that downed version into the, the editor. So there might be that little kind of a, a weird situation where, when you want your damage set up there. So we've set them all up over on this right side. We can then again preview them on this left side. So we can, or yeah, on the left side here, we can preview them when going right, facing up, and, and stuff like this. All right, so that is the build setting. Now we can go to the side view battler setting. So let's close this down. And then let's go down to the side view battlers. And we're going to create a new actor. And again, we're going to call this new actor side view battler. So for those new to RPG Maker Unite, or for RPG Maker in general, the side view battler is what's going to be showing in the actual fighting. So you can see that we have a bunch of stuff like taking a damage, for instance, or shooting a projectile. There should be one for just swinging, yep, swinging a sword, and so so on and so on. So it has the set animations. The filled one that we just did is for the walking around, right? So on the top view portion, non-battle, walking around. All right, so now that we have this new one set up, let's set up these, and again, we're going to slice them. So we're going to go over here. We're going to select side view battler. We're going to select the side view battler for Herald right here, and then we're going to export it into the current folder. And now we have everything that we need. And matter of fact, I can delete some of these stuff that we don't need anymore, right here. So then you can see that we have all of the side view battlers split up to how they are supposed to look. And some are looping, some are not looping, depending on the, the ability being used. And you can see that they're named appropriately so that they're easier for you to understand which one to implement. So for instance, now we can go back in here and start to load them up. So this one is move forward. I'm going to import and we're going to find move forward right here. And so there's our move forward. Now under here, I might have to go back to here. So it's going to be four. And then once again, we're going to do a 20 frames right here. And it should separate it out a little better. Okay, there we go. And so you can see that I would do this for every one that I'd have. So here's standard delay, standard delay. All right, so I would add four, then I would add 20. And so you would get the gist, I would just try to find the name right here. And then I would import based on that name, cast delay. Yep, cast delay. So I'm not going to take the time to set up the rest of these. The only one that it needs is the move forward or the standard delay, I can't remember. It just needs one of these to show as the preview. So now we're gonna go back and we're actually gonna set this as the side view battler. All right, so if we scroll back up to the top and we click on our new actor, we now go back here and we select our field character, which is going to be down for object, new actor. And then we have the side view battler. And it's gonna be this new actor side view battler. So now this is how we have set up Make sure that I set this as my default. Yes, I did. All right, and he's showing on the map now. All right, and so we can start this. And sure enough, here I am, Harold walking around. So if the animation was too fast for you, again, you'd go down to Resource Manager. You'd go to first the field, set the animation there, or if it was a side view battler, you would change the animation speeds here. Yeah, hopefully this helped you out on how to implement a character, change who the starting character is, 
and then add resources for the field and the side view battlers of that character. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below or the Discord and we'll get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.